other things that I can sit and read, you know, it is going to be a day of holy reading because it's a very chill and zen thing to do. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I haven't always been one to read a lot, but like over the last two years, I've really found joy in reading. So as you saw this morning, I... I'm currently reading this book. I actually have quite a few books on the go at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. I struggled to get into it at the start, but I actually have really enjoyed it. I just feel like this book speaks wisdom about quite a lot of stuff. And it is, you know, entitled Everything I Know About Love. But I feel like it just talks about so much more than love. And I thought it was gonna be like heavily focused on love, but it's just more like about life and growing up, but yeah gonna finish reading this and we shall regroup after that so as well as talking about love in a kind of romantic sense it talks about the importance of friendships which is just so wholesome in the book and it also talks about life more generally and how it is really quite mundane you know it tries to emphasize the importance of cherishing the small moments in life um and yeah my feet also really enjoyed this book you guys so i would highly recommend i really like that a very good read very good. So this book is Emily's and I picked it off her shelf quite a while back now. As I said, like it took me a while to get into it um, and I was reading it on and off for a bit. But then I hit a point in the book when I was like, this is actually really good. And there were so many bits that were just so like, I don't know, kind of enlightening or just really inspiring. And they just really like struck a chord with me and I was like, wow, that's so true. But yeah, I wish I'd like put little sticky notes in the book on the pages where I read things that, you know, really hit home. But I hope that if you guys choose to read this book, then you will feel the same way at certain points. I put the bookmark on a page towards the end that I just read where it said something like, it's like a metaphor for growing up sort of thing. It says... Well, one of her friends told her this. It says, it's like this long corridor I'm walking down and the further I go, the more doors slam that I can't access. It's kind of sad in a way, okay? But it kind of tells me that I need to live in the moment and take advantage of all the opportunities available to me. Don't waste time just thinking about whether it's the right option, whether it's the right decision. Like if you just want to do something, go for it. Don't worry about what others think. Go for whatever you really want to do. It talks about Dolly's experience with therapy and stuff, which is also really insightful as well. How she feels going through that, what she learns from it, what therapy can do for you, what it can't do for you. It's just full of like a lot of surprises. Now let's talk to you about what else I'm reading at the moment. Shall we? This stack of books always migrates towards the edge of my desk. And yes, this is a toilet roll on top but anyway um i need to actually change this stack because it's been similar for a long time this is actually the last book i think i finished i love this book literally i couldn't put it down like every evening i'd go to bed just so excited to read this and when i'm reading a book that i'm not really into i often don't read before i go to bed because i'm just not that keen to read it but this one and like this for example both were books that i would look forward to reading every evening before I go to bed. I think there's another one after this. And if so, I really want to read it. Like, I did not expect the twist in this book. Like, it was a big twist. It's about like a death in a school with four like students involved. And it's written from the perspective of those four students. So it jumps between them. It always ends one person's like story on like a cliffhanger. And you're like, oh, I have to keep reading to find out more, you know? Love that in a book. Frustrating, but love that. I don't know what I'm gonna read next exactly, but this is my pile of books here. So I'm still struggling to get into this. I actually started reading this, which is Jade's book. I'll talk to you guys about that. I should actually really finish the David Attenborough book. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like over halfway. So maybe I'll finish that today or try and finish it. I probably will do some new scientist reading today as well. So I might read some of this um just to tap into my biology brain maybe help with my planning for biology videos and stuff i'm just gonna get dressed i'm gonna work out and then i will talk to you guys after that now you guys don't know me well enough if you don't know that i love a good stretch sesh and i also often like to sit in box splits and just read so i picked up the latest new scientist magazine as i said and just read the article on the new zealand situation and covid
And then whilst I was just drinking my smoothie, I continued to read the David Attenborough book, which as I said, I'd started, but I just hadn't finished it. The blanket is necessary right now. I'm not sure if I want my hair like this, but we're just gonna put this Alice band in. David Atterbury, guys, speaks the truth. I love the pictures in this book. Look at this, like look at those fish. That is in Palau, P-A-L-A-U. So I can just look at the pictures and then read a bit, look at the pictures again, spend most of the time looking at the pictures. But we are gonna finish this today. I'm gonna finish this hopefully in the next hour. I wouldn't say I still read that quickly. I like to just take my time. Aside from the pictures though, I am very happy that David Attenborough talks about this. You know, the importance of a plant-based diet and moving towards more plant-based diets. I'm never gonna force someone to go vegan and be like, you have to go vegan. But I am very passionate about it. And you know, I've been vegan for over five years. I'm gonna read you out some stuff again because I read this and I was like, it's just so shocking. This is in the chapter, Taking Up Less Space. It says that in the 1700s, we farmed only about 1 billion hectares of the land surface, whereas today our farmland covers just under 5 billion hectares, which is equivalent to the area of North America, South America, and Australia combined, which is honestly crazy. Like, that's just huge. And then he goes on to talk about, you know, like eating meat and stuff, and how, like, with increasing affluence, you know. People consume more meat and dairy. Nearly 80% of farmland worldwide is used for meat and dairy production. Much of this space has no livestock in it at all. It is dedicated to crops like soy exclusively as feed for the cattle, the chickens and the pigs. So it's not as if we're growing this soy to feed ourselves. We're growing soy to feed the farm animals to then eat, which isn't sustainable in the future we have no other option but to shift to a more plant-based diet you know it's much better for the planet it doesn't have animal welfare issues and he says it is better for healthcare you know we could save up to 20 percent on healthcare costs because there'd be less like heart disease and diabetes and obesity all of these westernized diseases diseases i never want to come across as a pushy vegan but like i want generations after us to be able to experience this world and this planet and see it in all its beauty, you know, because it is an amazing planet. Like, I want them to be able to see this, to scuba dive, to travel, to see the world, you know? I don't want them to see the planet looking like this. You guys, I just want you to make your own decisions. Do your research. So these days, there are so many resources that are accessible, but if you guys want to know anything in particular about going vegan or how to go vegan or how to just simply add more plants into your diet, just let me know. And I'd love to talk to you guys and help you out maybe in my vlogs or on my Instagram. And yeah, even just starting with this book could be, you know, a good place for you if you are interested. We just finished the book, everyone. Two books finished today. Not obviously from start to finish, but we finished two books today. This morning, it was actually really quite sunny and I was contemplating sitting outside, but it's like 16 degrees or something. And it feels colder than it actually is just because it's that time of year. Look at those lovely lines that mum created. But yeah, the sun has gone in now, so I don't really fancy sitting outside to read. With books and stuff, I did get a lot of the second set of my books for my second book challenge from a website, like an online store called World of Books because they sell like secondhand books, which is obviously better than getting them new and on the theme of saving the planet and sustainability and you know all of that stuff if you are looking to get some new books go to a charity shop or borrow them from a library join a book club borrow them from a friend try world of books you know second hand is the way to go but yeah when i go on my walk later i'm either gonna listen to a podcast or i'm gonna try listening to an audiobook i don't really listen to audiobooks i don't know what are your thoughts on audiobooks like i really enjoy listening to podcasts love podcasts but i've never really gotten into audiobooks i just prefer like reading them but let me know down below what you think about audiobooks do you listen to them do you like them did you get into them what helps i don't know so good right i know i look like the ultimate granny right now with my hair in this like low bun center part in glasses i actually don't know why i have my glasses on right now don't need them on speaking of vision 
I am going to an eye appointment tomorrow. I have an eye appointment, which is great. And I actually think that um, my eyes will thank me for taking a bit of a break from screens today because a lot of what I do is like on a screen, obviously. I haven't been to an eye test person, an optometrist in such a long time. Oh my gosh, this is going everywhere. Sauerkraut and tahini, a combination that is so good. This is my bowl of goods today. Literally such a good combo. So good. Speaking of sauerkraut and fermented foods, we're gonna read this article about the microbiome, which is a very hot topic in biology at the moment. And not even biology and science, like everyone talks about the microbiome these days. Why caring for your gut microbiome holds the key to healthy aging. Do I have food in my mouth? Probably yes. I've never managed to master the art of reading and eating. Like I'm either too invested in the food or I'm like all invested in the reading. I can't just do both. So I really struggle, especially holding a book. Like when a book is heavy, like holding the book, reading, excuse me, aeroplane. So to give you guys a general gist of this article, it essentially talked about ways in which you can potentially modify your microbiome or your microbiota largely through your diet to not prevent aging, but to potentially slow mm. it down. It's talking about lentils, which I'm literally eating right now, and also sauerkraut, as I said. So love that. And a bit later that afternoon in the early evening, we could say I went on a walk and just listened to a podcast. I listened to the Emma Chamberlain podcast all about femininity. I just got home now. I wasn't actually listening to an audiobook because I didn't download anything before I went out. And yeah, I was just like, I'm not going to use mobile data. I used so much mobile data the other day when our Wi-Fi was rubbish at home so yeah i just listened to a podcast i had downloaded by emma chamberlain i love her podcast anything goes guess what is really sad really really sad right now i still haven't found my ruler like genuinely i know i sound very obsessed with this ruler but it was just so convenient and the thing that annoys me is i don't understand how i could have lost it i genuinely think milka did something with it like that cat no comment now you're probably wondering why i'm reading this same new scientist article but you guys when i'm reading science stuff i have to be annotating it so i just had to go back and you know scribble all over it and then i just organized my books on my desk and on my bookshelf does the desk look too bare like i should maybe put the loo roll in the corner instead because that is clearly where it wants to sit you know i would say that my desk space is quite minimal and i really like it this way whoa that is a scary hand shadow right there look anyway um yeah the books were sometimes just guessing in the way i mean we'll try it for a bit and just see you know i just restacked the books in my billy bookcase and then over here i've decided that i'm gonna put the three books that i'm gonna be reading at the moment this is jade's book huge congrats to jade obviously and it's such a cool book like i love the vibe in this book the color the front cover i started reading it literally as i finished my masters and i was like i don't really know why i'm reading this but i still found it very interesting and enjoyable to read so it has a very wide audience you know jade basically got quite a few other creators in like the study tube space to write stuff for the ends of each chapter and i'm coming up to my bit actually advice from holly gabrielle one opportunity to write for jade's book i feel honored to have something in this book jade obviously talks about so much more than studying she talks about like mental health and the school system in itself it's honestly crazy how much jade dove into like the education system in the uk like i when i was at school i was just literally thinking about my work i didn't think about anything else but anyway i would highly recommend now this book right women don't only pretty i don't know how true this is um but i was talking to a friend about it the other day and apparently it like copies some ideas from another book one of you guys actually left a comment saying the same thing as well i didn't know this obviously my initial thoughts are that you know i don't know how a book has managed to be published when it's like copying another book's ideas or something you know like that's technically plagiarism surely like did it not go through turn of tin feel free to share your thoughts down below as i said i haven't read this book i haven't read the other book didn't know about this so what am i gonna do now what am i gonna read now what do i feel like reading to be honest with you i don't really feel like reading anymore i've done so much reading today like i have definitely gone into reading and books and stuff but i definitely wouldn't say i'm a big 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 
I don't know, am I a book enthusiast now? I was literally just on World of Books Now looking for One of Us is Next, which is the sequel to One of Us is Lying. So maybe I am a book person, a bookworm, that's what you say, right? Should we order that book? I want to get that book. Maybe I'm just going to keep reading Jade's book because, you know, I am definitely still studying at school and university. I love my bed, as you guys know. Um, but it's not the comfiest when you're sitting against this back bit, so we need a cushion. The Elefante. As you guys know, I recently said goodbye to my student status, but I still found this book really motivating and interesting to read. So yeah, it was great, you know? Definitely get it if you're a student. And yeah, again, my feet loved reading this book. And we also do love a good stretch whilst we're reading. We have found that out in this video. It is so strange reading this, but I did just read what I wrote. Am I still happy with it? Yes, I am. I gave my advice from personal experience. But yeah, it is packed with so much good advice from Jade herself, obviously, and then from others, um, which is so cool. Um, and such a really clever idea. I just had a shower and basically, as I said before, I was looking for the book One of Us is Lying. This is World of Books. As I said, it sells like secondhand books and stuff. It is out of stock, which is so sad because it's like £4.79. I do still have books that I need to read and so I'm going to say to myself that when I've finished reading all of the books that I want to read, well most of them, including The Book Thief, we're going to try and say, then I can maybe think about getting that book or going to a library to get it. But anyway, that is just what I wanted to let you guys know. I'm going to go downstairs, have my food and do a bit more reading before we go to bed. I've literally done so much reading today. I'm actually really proud of myself. So we're going to give this a go before I go to bed today. I'm going to read some of this for like 15 to 20 minutes. That is normally how long I read for in the evenings. Um, sometimes it's longer if I'm really engaged. But that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see any other book related content or any book challenges reading challenges and yeah subscribe to stick around hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye